Pisces! Welcome or welcome back. My name is Lightworker Witten. I'm so excited to get into your October 2024 forecast. We've got a lot to cover, so let me go ahead and talk about what we're getting into. We're going to do a monthly forecast spread to see what lies ahead for you this month overall. And then we're going to look into your love and your career and finances. Now those spreads are gonna look like what to expect, the unexpected theme of the month. So we've got three spreads total to get through. Okay, it's gonna be a lovely time, us chatting together. Um, and I just, what you saw me just do was get a Oracle message for your theme of the month. Okay, I don't know what it is. I think your card might be the only one I didn't get to see. <laughs> um, sometimes I flip over and I put it back down, but I didn't see yours, so. I like to save that to the end because it really rounds out your reading and really draws everything together. So make sure you stay tuned for that. So with that being said, Pisces, uh, please remember this is a collective reading. Receive what resonates, release what doesn't, okay? What's meant for you is meant for you. You know your truth, you know your story. And even if something doesn't sound like it's for you, just take it in, let it wash over you. Come back to this as often as you need, okay? That's what it's meant for. I go I go back to and refer to my own personal readings and the collective readings multiple times a month because it really does serve as a compass for me in a lot of ways. So hopefully it does for you as well. All right, uh, Pisces, if you would like to book your own reading, my links are below if you would like some one-on-one -on -one time and uh, as well as all of my links to my journals that you can see here and uh, other goodies that you can get for yourself. Let's go ahead and take a couple deep breaths, Pisces, okay? Think about what you need a message on, where you need some guidance, okay? Okay, let's do one more. A plane is like flying overhead. I don't know if you guys can hear. I don't live, I live close to the airport, but not that close. Like 20 minutes away. Okay, to avoid this interesting. Okay. All right. Sorry for the faces. Um, <laughs> Pisces. <laughs> We got to, you know, everyone just has such an interesting reading this month. I feel, I mean, and we're just like ending our eclipse season, right? And all of us are kind of having to uh, embrace new beginnings and, you know, old lives are being kind of completely revamped and all of that. But literally, like, dang. All right, Pisces, let's, let's dig in. Your, your reading is very similar to Aquarius in a way. Okay, okay, Pisces. I think this is going to make more sense to you than it does to me. I mean, I get it, but I, I, I think it's going to, it's going to connect. Okay, so at the beginning of October, Knight of Pentacles. Let me start my timer. Knight of Pentacles here. You're feeling um, like you're just working diligently towards something, putting in a lot of hard work and effort into yourself, your work life. Um, it's, it's kind of very rinse and repeat energy, right? You're not where you want to be, but you're, you're pushing ahead. You're pushing forward, right? Mm, excuse me. Something I also noticed here, um, and it's kind of more in particular like connection to this deck you know the knight of pentacles is here and he's finally able to afford a three-piece suit but not like the trimmings and the cufflings and like the watch and all that the earrings something i just noticed about that like it's like you're very much like where you want to be but you still have more that you want to achieve more that you want to do so keep working hard and moving forward towards where you're going pisces okay don't give up i think you're on the right track especially as it relates to whatever it is you're trying to pursue. But to me, this is mostly career, but keep forging ahead. A theme of the month is Six of Swords. We've got a transition happening. 
there's there's an energy here of you needing to course correct, find new land. That's metaphorical, of course. Um, pack it up and find find somewhere else to be. Again, metaphorically, it, the transition is like a change of a tide. Sometimes the Six of Swords is a changing of perspective. But it's like, I always describe the Six of Swords of like knowing when to leave the party before it's over. I've actually never described it that way, but it's actually kind of perfect. <laughs> it's knowing when to leave the party before it's over. Like you already see a situation is going left. You already know it's looking like somebody's finna call the cops. So you just go ahead and get yourself out of the situation before it even gets there. Like that's the vibe, okay, of, of October for you. You like, let me go ahead and get myself out of the situation before it gets worse. Okay. Um, where to find, uh, Kegel to pursue is five of pentacles. So five of pentacles typically represents need, and so uh feeling lack feeling left out in the cold so i feel like there's an energy here pisces of you needing to make sure you speak up for what you need clarify the five of pentacles please for pisces if you're needing support like let people know seven of swords maybe you're trying to like it feels like you're not letting people know what you need sometimes the seven of swords is about being strategic um maybe this could be a message of getting yourself out of a financial bind <coughs> Five, five of worlds okay we've got we've got a we've got to wrap up a situation there's something that needs to come to a close something that has been causing hardship yeah there's an awareness of something that needs to end not really quite sure what that is for you. It'll be more clear once I get into your love and career readings, but definitely an energy of, of, of something coming to an end. A chapter is closing in your life, but, but you need support. You can't do it alone. Obstacle to overcome is the lovers. This could be Gemini energy, but this could also, of course, be a connection. If you're not seeing anyone, the lovers represents alignment with yourself. Maybe you're struggling to embrace, um, you know, right and wrong it's, it's about dualities and like about your values okay the lovers and again alignment with your higher spiritual self your consciousness so maybe there if you're again if you're not partnered maybe you're struggling to embrace your personal truth but or being honest with yourself i personally don't think that's the message here the lovers here just connects to some sort of partnership that is difficult and it would be a, a situation with somebody you're really close to could be a best friend could be a lover could be a business partner my nose is like really the later it gets the more my allergies just kick up lord and just start it just gets really dry oh you know what? Watch, watch. When I move from this apartment, I'm not going to have none of these nasal issues. Watch, watch. It's the apartment. It's the apartment. Because I tell you, because I be telling you, I be outside, no problem. No problem when I be outside. Anyway, back to you, Pisces. Let's clarify the lovers here. Why is that the obstacle to overcome? Justice could be Libra energy here. Could be um, a legal contract you have with uh, someone that you're in partnership with. Again, could be a Gemini. Maybe you're feeling like you're not being treated fairly by a Gemini. Maybe a Libra is involved here. Ace of Pentacles. New opportunity here. Maybe, I also feel like maybe, maybe someone will be offering you their hand or you're offering them your hand for assistance for help and that's feeling like maybe you're struggling with that it's like it's like the one person that could help you maybe you don't want to receive help from that's rough take that how it resonates major accomplishment is page of cups um Page of Cups could represent another water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. 
But the Page of Cups is somebody who's very sensitive, very open, very um, emotional and creative. But this could also be um, maybe starting a creative journey. Uh, and it could also be happy surprise. Please clarify the Page of Cups for Pisces. Nine of Swords, maybe getting out of some anxiety. Clarify a major accomplishment for Pisces, please. Victory, yeah. Success in some way. Again, Page of Cups is a happy surprise. There's some sort of victory, maybe related to a creative pursuit of yours. It's feeling like something that you were nervous or anxious about this month is, um, especially if it relates to you putting yourself out there, especially where it relates to your artwork or something you know, you've been working on, it's going to get noticed and you're going to receive some sort of praise or confirmation on it. And I feel like that will inspire you to keep going. All right. Uh, what to avoid is the sun. And that's really crazy because the sun is clarity and also it represents um, children sometimes. So let's clarify that. <laughs> Ten of Swords. What's crazy is the Ten of Swords is what to embrace. So there is some sort of difficult ending for you, P uh, Pisces. The Ten of Swords literally just fell out. There's some sort of defeat here. Maybe the message is don't try to understand why. Six of Swords again. You don't need to really understand why. You just know that you need to leave. I mean, I, I don't know that I have anything else to say about that. Again, the sun is about clarity and illumination. I don't really think that you need to wait for the sun to come up on this. You already know where things are headed, babe. We got to go. We got we to gotta put our focus and energy and attention elsewhere. I'm not sure if you are physically needing to leave a place. That's unclear. Hmm. Maybe for some of you it is, maybe for some it isn't. Where to find support is Knight of Wands. This could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, could also be someone who's very ambitious. Somebody has something, a lot of energy to prove, very boisterous, okay? And then also advice and encouragement is Knight of Swords. So we've got uh, Libra, Gemini. I got cut off, Pisces. Um, sorry about that, but I was saying, uh, well, let's see if it's still there. No, I, can't, I already put, oh, here it is. I was saying, uh, Knight of Swords here, uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, it seems like there's an air sign that is going to be helpful to you, an air sign and a fire sign. If not the elements, someone who would be very um, direct and maybe um, very proactive in their approach, and then someone who is very intellectual in their approach to like giving you the help that you need this month. I wanted to say that the next card that followed this Knight of Swords was the Fool. So there's going to be some new beginning for you by the after you receive this help by the end of October, I feel like. I feel like you'll be kind of stepping into a new beginning, Pisces. Now it's taking a leap of faith maybe in some way. All right. So like I said, I, I actually was cut off. So if that's resonating with you, feel free to drop some comments below. Maybe you already know how this relates to you. I think I have a few ideas on how it relates to the Pisces in my life, but um, you know, feel free to share as much or as little as you'd like. I do read the comments, okay? All right, let's go ahead and look into your love life, Pisces. Let's see what's going on there. Again, we're gonna look into what to expect, the unexpected, and theme of the month. Okay, Pisces. Think about you know what it is you'd like a message on where you'd like some clarity okay Pisces love life October Pisces love life October Pisces love life <laughs> why did I hear I mean, and again, it was kind of the melody a little bit. Guess what I just heard? Um, I don't know if you guys will know this song, depending on my demographic. 
I think some of you might know this song, some of you won't. Bad luck, that's what you got, that's what you got. You got bad luck. <laughs> oh, freak. Dang. I'm sorry, Pisces. I, I, if it makes you feel any, I'm really excited to see what comes out of your love reading. But if it makes you feel any better, everyone is having their own struggles this month, okay? Everybody's experiencing their own struggles in different ways, Pisces. Ciao. Somebody's... I'm like pissed off for you for this love reading. Again, this is for people who are single and dating or in committed relationships. And, si and when I say single and dating, I mean you know, putting yourself out there, um, even if you're not really entertaining anyone right now, but you're actively dating. Pisces, here we go. Need a few more cards for Pisces. Children is coming out. Okay, love yourself first, just flipped over, and codependency. Okay, not surprised to see that there, here. All right. Okay, my babies. Let's start with where you are. You're really anxious about needing to leave a, a, a situation in your love life. The Nine of Swords has got you losing sleep. It's got you stressed out. It's keeping you up at night. The Eight of Cups, it's like you know you're wanting to leave and walk away, but you're holding on, holding on, maybe just like hoping that somebody will prove you wrong. That's kind of what it feels like. Just waiting, giving maybe somebody one more chance. Sometimes the Eight of Cups is w giving it one last effort, one more chance before you finally call it quits. Uh, the unexpected is Empress Reverse and Ace of Cups Reverse. This feels to me that you will be unexpectedly really, really pouring a lot of energy and self-love into yourself. This is the cards up, right? Ace of Cups is new emotions, new feelings. When I see that reverse, it is a message of self-love. The Empress is typically somebody who is very nurturing, very giving, very maternal. When um, it's, uh, was it? Hold on, I just had them upright. They were both reversed. <laughs> They're both reversed. So it feels like nurturing yourself unexpectedly, which let me just jump around here. Love yourself first is the message. I feel like you're needing to reconnect with how you want to be loved this month, Pisces. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Now, I know that I said that last month that probably a lot of you guys were starting new relationships. Seems like for many of you, again, especially if it was a fresh relationship, it seems like there's already trouble in paradise. And I feel like your person is going to fuck up if they haven't already. And they're trying to make up for it. That's what it feels like to me. Because this part, you this, they are you already put them on thin ice. You're like you already put them on notice, and they're like, you know what? I'm not dealing with this, but I'm a, I'm gonna see if this motherfucker gets it together. And in the meantime, you're focusing on yourself. Theme of the month is Seven of Cups. You're still out here considering your options. You're like, you know what? I don't need to settle for this. Seven of Pentacles is here as well. You're waiting. You're waiting for some sort of improvement. You're waiting for the actions to match the words. Okay, again, air sign energy here, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, but now it's reversed. So I feel like there's a lot of harsh words being exchanged between you and your person. But we do have the Three of Swords coming up reversed. So we do have, you know, coming out of hardship, or not hardship, coming out of heartbreak. Okay, I just, there's tension. There's tension in your relationship this month. There's tension in your love life this month. Uh, Ten of Swords is defeat. Yeah, like, but whether or not it's divorce is up to you, whether or not it's separation is up to you. I don't know where you are in your love life. Um, sometimes, you know, you could be married and you could see the Ten of cups, ten of Swords, but it's more so just kind of def feeling defeated for a situation that you're both going through together. Maybe you're feeling unsupported. Maybe you're feeling shut out, right? That doesn't necessarily mean you file, you're file. you filing for divorce, but that's how you're feeling. You're feeling very ice. It, over, there's an overwhelming feeling of feeling unsupported, this month, Pisces. Feeling very unsupported. Okay, so the cards here affecting your love life, getting to know each other. Okay. 
As you reveal as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. We've got children. Maybe you or your person have kids. Your love life is being affected by children and codependency. This card is mostly about addictions. It's that you could have addictions or your person has addictions, um, but it could also be codependency upon each other. All right. Like, like you know that you need to leave, but you're like, oh, what am I going to do without them? You know? Okay. Let's read love yourself first. If you desire more romance, first look at yourself in a caring and non-critical way, of course. The more you love who you are, the greater your capacity to feel loved by others. This means trusting yourself to take good care of you, and it may entail becoming more assertive. Don't worry, you can still be very lovable while affirming your boundaries. Perhaps this means spending some time alone, instead of in a relationship, during this during this period, you can delve into introspection to understand the patterns of your love life. Ultimately, you can take responsibility for attracting and agreeing to every relationship you've had. To heal your heart, find the blessing and lessons you've gained from each one. For instance, have you become stronger, more independent, or more patient as a result of your prior partnerships? If so, let everything else from the past go except for the lessons and the love. This card emphasizes the importance of loving yourself first, especially as you prepare for your next relationship or heal the one you're in. As you gain self-respect, you'll begin attracting more loving people into your life. This will lead to healthy friendships and romances. I never say it like that. Friendships and romances based upon mutual respect. Yeah. Mm. I hope that resonated, Pisces. If so, leave a comment below. Let me know uh, how this is connecting for you. I kind of feel like that was pretty straightforward. Like it's just it's just feeling like your love life is is tense, and you you need to really turn the attention back inward. It's not really clear if this relationship is completely ending, but you're definitely not happy in it. You're definitely not happy, which is why you've got to turn your attention back to self. So. You, you got to prioritize you this month, Pisces. I, I feel like you may not even have the capacity to think about your love life if you're in this Five of Pentacles energy where you are experiencing some sort of hardship. I also think part of the issue might be you're feeling unsupported by your partner or whoever it is you're dealing with right now because they know you're going through a hardship. And it's like, you should be more supportive. Like, you know what I'm going through. I feel like there's some resentment probably that's going to be there. Pisces, so just kind of prepare yourself for that. You know what I'm going to do? Let me actually pull one of these cards before I move on to your career. What do you have for Pisces this month, please? Okay, we got two cards coming out. Heart Chakra and two Heart Chakra. Okay. Uh, work with Spikenard and Lime. Those are two herbs you can use. This is the message on needing to have faith. Okay. Stop asking yourself, why does this always happen to me? Let that go. Stop asking yourself that question. Embrace, I am at peace. Okay. Know that everything will work out as it needs to and hold a space of gratitude as you watch the miracles unfold. Which is crazy because the next card is gratitude. Stop telling yourself you're overwhelmed. Stop telling yourself you're overwhelmed. Embrace, I am moving. The time for planning is complete. Take action, no matter how small, begin today. Yeah. I hope that's helpful, Pisces. I really do. Shoot. Oh, two more wanted to come out. Destiny. What if something happens? Let that go. Embrace, I take my hands off the wheel. You are not alone. The universe is working with you. Relax and enjoy the adventure. You're feeling lo if you're feeling lost, embrace I do what I love. There is a path waiting just for you. Open your heart and mind so you can use it on your journey of fulfillment. Yeah, there's a lot. I feel like Pisces, your external world is affecting your emotional health this month. I didn't want this deck. So I just want you to be aware of that, okay? All right, let's look into your career and finances. Maybe book some extra therapy sessions, okay? That might need to be something that you do. All right. 
<laughs> Career and finances for Pisces. Career and finances for Pisces, please. Career and finances for Pisces. Oh. oh, that's the Nine of Cups in here. There was a card from a different deck in there. Current finances for Pisces, please. What to expect? The unexpected theme of the day. That's what she I'm sorry that that song is in my head. Second time Eight of Cups is here. Is it the second time? Yeah, second time. We have for Pisces, please. We have for Pisces. Take action in growing up. Mm, let's get two more. Perfection. Okay, and what else for Pisces, please? And legal. Okay. All right, back of the deck energy is two of pentacles. So you are desperately wanting to balance your, your priorities and your finances. All right. Uh, what to expect, the emperor reverse and two of swords. So there's some indecision in relation to either a father figure in your life or, or for yourself, you're just feeling lack of direction, like you're not sure where to focus your energy and where you want to go next. So that might be, and, and again, for some of you, maybe it's pressure from your father, depending on, you know, just where you are. Fin in, in, I don't know, maybe your father has something to do with your finances. There's some indecision here. The emperor reverse could point towards maybe him being a tyrant or being hard on you. The emperor also represents the sign of Aries in case an Aries is important to you in your life. This could also be a manager, maybe dealing with a diff difficult manager. But if I had to put money on it, guys, I would say that this is you being unsure of where to focus your energy and your intention. It feels like you're not, you're flying blind, literally. All right. Um, the unexpected walking away from something or someone and ace of cups again like pursuing something else for that fulfills you emotionally this could be walking away from a project walking away from a job but it seems as though with this ace of cups that it's a blessing in disguise like walking away is allowing you to kind of like focus on filling up your cup. Theme of the month is King of Wands reverse, very similar to the Emperor reverse, really not sure where you're leading yourself. It's feeling like you're a little lost. I'm hearing Coldplay. Um, you know that song by Coldplay? Just because I'm losing doesn't mean I'm lost. Does it mean I didn't get what I deserve? I just got lost. That's such a good song. I love that song. Look it up. Uh, trust your intuition this month, Pisces. Your high priestess is coming through. Even though, like, I feel like mentally you're just, you just, I, I don't even feel like you're mentally there to process where to go. I don't even think you're mentally there to really like figure out your next step. You really are going to trust, going to need to trust what you feel in order to plan for your future. Two of Wands, planning ahead, getting yourself into alignment, getting organized. Let's see what that next card was next to Two of Cups Reverse. You're, you're disconnecting from a partnership. Could be professional, could be romantic, okay? But, and that maybe is affecting your finances, but there's some body you are disconnecting from this month, okay? It, or, the organization, a person, a best friend, it seems like it's affecting your finances, okay? All right, first card out was take action. 
Whatever your question, this is telling you to go for it. Do not procrastinate or wait to take that next step to get ahead, just do it. Nothing will change if you don't take action. Don't let opportunity pass you by. We have growing up. It's time to step up into your own power and stop engaging in childish qualities. Don't rely on others to help you and care for you. This mess is yours to clean up. Avoid depending on someone else's income. You have all the skills to make your own. Perfection. Give up your perfectionism. It's causing delays in your finances. You will never get ahead if you don't overcome the fear of failure. You are enough and have what it takes to improve your finances. And then legal. Legal came out. You might have to take care of some legal matters related to financial issues. You could receive money from some kind of legal matter. This is a good time to handle any legal matters involving money. I also feel like just going back to this perfection card, like you don't need to, it doesn't need, stop, don't look for the perfect opportunity. I, I don't think you need perfect right now. I think you just need what feels good. I think you need emotional fulfillment as it relates to your career and finances. Give up your perfectionism. It's causing delays in your finances. You might be you might be letting opportunities pass you by because it's not perfect. Pisces, cut it out. Did you ever consider that you could make a situation perfect once you get into the role or once you get into the situation or once you once you engage yourself? That you could make it better, you can improve the circumstances. Let's look at your major uh, theme. I don't know what it is, so. The thinking man. I think Sagittarius got this too. They did. They got this too. They're holding a little crystal, little clear quartz. Okay. 46. Okay, let's see. It's upright. Male of wisdom or understanding. This card shows a man standing before an archway, gazing at a crystal in his hand. He is thoughtful and reflective, representing the potential presence of a teacher in your life now or about to arrive soon. This person may be there to educate you in the finer details of your chosen direction or may be there to assist you in some specific spiritual, in some specific spiritual mental, or emotional pursuits. The card is telling you to pay attention for this could lead to great strides in personal or professional growth. This may also be a love interest coming your way or perhaps just a new male friend, but be on the lookout for this guide in the physical world and be open to his information. Learn what you can. A new discipline, technique, course of study, or healing practice could change your life forever. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. And maybe going back to that unexpected, it's like somebody might be t like giving you the lay of the land of something. You're walking away toward what you hate and like having this new, this new emotional fulfilling opportunity. Alexis, speak into me, telling me to go to bed. <laughs> I don't think you guys can hear it. I hope that was helpful, Pisces. I really do. I really, really do. This seems like it's gonna be a hard one. And I feel like I've been telling that to every sign like every reading I do this month. And I don't think it's me because I'm in a good mood. I, I feel like this is just gonna be one of those months where we all just have to white knuckle it through. I really do. We're all just trying to deal with the ramifications of this eclipse and we're just trying to deal. We're just trying to deal. We're just trying to sort out our lives. <laughs> really hope it was helpful feel free to drop some comments below i do read them if you would like your own reading for your own situation feel free to schedule that with me at any time i hope you have a great month despite everything you're working through love yourself first pisces thanks so much for being here i appreciate your support for the channel and i hope you have a great day take care